Hey guys, welcome to another Qbyton 3 tutorial. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually install modules using Qpython 3. Yeah, you can actually install your own module using Qpython 3. So you don't have to have a PC before you can actually install the module, although there are some modules that you can install, but most of them are installable. And I'll also show you an easy way that you can also install modules using QPyPy and also the AIPY. Now let's add on to QPython, sorry, let's add on to Play Store and let's search for the word QPython 3. And once the results loads up, you see a list of um, QPython available applications here. Now this is the one we're using right now. I've already installed that. Now you're gonna be wanting to install the QPython lab, which is just the QPython for Android. It has this logo. And also you're gonna be installing the QPython 36 for Android. It has QPython 36 and it's a better version, please note. It's not fully functional yet because it's still in development, so this is just for testing. But I'm still going to advise you that you download it, so just have all three of them, so you can be able to use them very well. Now once you have all of them downloaded, you just want to enter the Python for Android, and you just want to open it up. Now it's going to take you to a nice sweet menu, and it's going to look something like this. This terminal right here, I'm just going to try and see if I can rush through this stuff. This terminal right here, I think is the same thing with the um, the console, the editor is also the same, the explorer, you can use it to explore your PY file and other files on your PC. I'll talk about the rest of this if I have time on my next tutorial, but please do explore by yourself. And let's go into our editor. Now, what we're going to be working on is a module named pip. Now, I've already talked to you guys about how you can actually install or I can actually import modules before in a previous tutorial. So let's just go through this tutorial and let's just round it up. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install modules using pip. So I'm not gonna import the module name pip. So I'm just gonna say import pip. And once pip is imported, you just have to say pip dot main. It's as easy as that. Now open the parentheses and close it up. Now inside of this parentheses, if you open them close up, you want to open square brackets and open it on the closing one. Inside of the square brackets, you want to give it two eyeballs. One, add a comma, and give it another eyeball, two. So it's like saying you have two friends inside of this place, a girl and a boy. Now let's head on to the boy side, and let's type in install. It's like saying you want to plug in something here. Now once you've said install, all you have to do is give it the name of the module you want to install. You can give it the name of module, but there are lots of module Let's pick something easy to install, something that does not occupy much space because I don't have a lot of speed when it comes to my internet connection. So I'm just going to say Colorama, I think. This is a module used for color. So this is it. Pip.main. Yup, check. It's just two lines. Let's save our code and let's run. Say so Python console is running. You can notice the setup here is a bit different. This is going to take some time because it's trying to gather information from the, the module name Colorama and it's going to take some time to install. So let's just wait up and see the output it gives us. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow, kind of sighting my fingers right now. It's, oh, why? Yeah, that's the spot. Okay, I'm waiting. Please do not waste my time. Okay, yeah, it's. Yeah, it's it has installed the module in Colorama. So this is a very easy way to install modules. I can't assure you that all modules will work fine, but please, please be sure to test them out if you wish. Now it says downloading Colorama, running setup, installing collected package, setting up blah blah blah, and at the end it says successfully installed the module name Colorama, and it's cleaning up. So I just click on enter. It's done. Now, one more thing you should notice. Let's just comment this out. Um, comment this out a bit. I don't want this code to run, so I'm just gonna comment it out. Okay. One more thing you should notice about this stuff is that. Okay. Yes. Is that when you come into this terminal area, you see this place that says clock. Now it's trying to get your history of typed in code and how the code you've typed in recently. This is defined. So you want to just simply define a function. This is for if, if you make it an if statement, elf, else, for, import, from, and also class, and return. Now, this class is what I'm going to be talking to you guys about later on. I'm kind of 
trying to discuss to you guys about modules now but I talked to you guys about the class later and it's something you should really learn it's very very useful when it comes to modules and also creating your own full python scripts and also python modules now I'll talk to you guys in the next tutorial but for now hit that like button subscribe share comment and your name might be in my next tutorial thank you all for watching I'll see you guys next time